Well, 2013 marks the 10th year of the free trade agreement between China and ASEAN. But have the people from both sides benefited and what obstacles lie ahead? Take a look. Vietnamese businesswoman Miss Lu has learned to do foreign trade with her sister ever since her childhood. Thanks to the free trade policy between China and ASEAN, the veteran dealer has set up her own store in the bordering city of Dongxing, focusing on wholesale business. We have many new clients here and built up the sales. Usually the daily volumes reach five tons, sometimes as high as dozens of tons. The Chinese government set up a free trade zone in Dongxing, the border city in Guangxi, in 2010 to boost the country's trade ties with ASEAN countries. Over the last three years, China has remained the largest trading partner for ASEAN. The closer economic relationship has benefited cross-border communications as well. Regional tourists totaled 15 million last year, with over a thousand flights connecting China and ASEAN countries each week. Despite the benefits brought by the pact, analysts and political leaders say the terms put on paper 10 years ago cannot meet the region's current needs, and the free trade zone needs an upgrade. Chinese and ASEAN country leaders will meet this September to talk about plans for cooperation, including communication, information technology, and customs clearing, so that the two parties will connect with each other more closely. So far, China has exempted trade tariffs for 90 percent of exports from six ASEAN countries. The roster will enlarge to all of members by 2015. Wang Tian, CCTV.